Welcome back everyone to My Language Paradise. I know it's been a while. I'm going to just cut to the chase and talk about a language that is near and dear to my heart. I have not talked a lot about German on my channel so far. I think I uploaded even a few videos before I had even 100 subscribers and it didn't really go anywhere so I just left that on private. But I do have another video in German about my German language journey in Dortmund studying abroad there. There was a very interesting experience with a professor. So this is definitely going to be some story time. It does have a lot to do with the imposter syndrome that I was going through when I was there. Of course, I had decided in, I think, 2017 to 2018 to study abroad. I also thought that it would be nice to have all my classes in German and my dog is distracting me. And so after having discovered that that was all going to be, and so after having discovered that that was all going to be possible, I decided to take a course in, I think, German, female German authors of the postmodern period. I had a lot of, um, sort of like embarrassing <laughs> things happen just because I obviously was not going to study abroad in order to do perfectly in whatever class I was taking. Even though I didn't want that kind of immersive experience in the classroom and in the German learning system, but having straight A's was not my main goal in life from three years ago. I did want to at least pass though, but otherwise I wouldn't have gotten a, like any credit at all, which would have been bad for me graduating from my home university. So I took this class. I, of course, had to write a Hausarbeit. I think I maybe took like two days to write down all of it in German. And it was about this book and this author right here, Die Liebhaberinnen. Back when I was at my home university, there were little things that I had to write about. There were little things um, about German history and culture. I really wanted to prove to myself that I could do it in a like native level classroom with a native level teacher. Spoiler alert, it did not go well. I don't think I even have the original essay to show you guys. I would if I could. But I was so ashamed of it that I threw it away after I got my feedback from the teacher. I think it was my second version that I had to fix. I'm not really sure where that is. I probably packed it up already, but I'm going to give you a summary of what I did. It took about two days only. I wrote maybe seven to eight pages. I don't even think that I met the page requirement, first of all. I did not do any of the typical things that I knew how to in order to structure a paper. For some reason, I did not even think about that, probably because I was having too much fun outside the classroom. I thought that at least, even after I had messed up the structure of the paper, I would be able to write well. And given this was when I was kind of used to getting compliments from the German department at my home university. I'm mentioning this because it was a really big difference from being in a small town, receiving praise for something that I initially did not know I was good at. I did not think that I was capable of doing much with my life, and I think German really dispelled that myth for me. At the same time, you know, I, I did like enjoying getting those those reassurances from my professor at my host university about how well I was doing. I thought that I could impress my host university professors. I still got a lot of comments about how bad my paper was just in general, not just the structure, but also with the writing itself. I had included way too many commas. There were some words that I had used in the wrong sense, or I had mingled around the wording a little bit to not really get my point across. That's how I felt with my first paper uh, that I turned in for this German teacher. But let me go over the grading system. Basically, if you get a one, you're doing great. If you get a six, you're failing. She couldn't even give me a six because it was just that bad. Like she didn't say it was just that bad, but we both knew that it was, it was pretty bad. I, you know, of course went back to my dorm. I started crying because I was like, oh my gosh, I can't really do anything. You know, I thought that I was good enough to, to write, you know, a whole paper in this language that I really love, but obviously I'm not, and I'm a failure. This is an important point to make because I would consider my German to be the best language that I have ever learned, including this, this experience actually, even though it was one of my 
most negative experiences, especially with German professors. They will tell it to you like it is. They will get directly to the point and they're going to be really direct with you and say something sucks. I, I did feel sort of like an imposter. I didn't tell any of my friends about it. I didn't tell any of the students that I had studied in an intensive course for German with just because I was so ashamed. Everything that I thought I knew to be true kind of just came crashing down after I got that really bad experience. The teacher definitely let me redo the paper, otherwise I would have never had enough credits to, to say that I did enough courses in order to graduate and fulfill my requirements abroad. My final grade was a 3, which I guess would sort of be the equivalent of a C in the United States. It was still pretty average, not good. I was just glad to, to have been able to get at least a credit. This was in my first semester, so this was not going to be my first and only um, Hausarbeit or German essay. Always being humble in the language, I think that was one thing that really stuck with me. Even if you do slip up sometimes, I think it's gonna happen, you know, whatever field I decide to go in. Um, there's going to be failure and you can definitely learn from it. I did well on my um, other German essays that I wrote throughout the year after that. It was kind of a good thing to know that I could really mess up my first time doing it and then it not have to appear once again like later in the semester when everything was was wrapping up. So yes, I'm very gracious for that, but again, I I truly felt like I did not deserve like anything <laughs> that I had built for myself. It just took like one individual experience to make me feel that way and make me think that I was never, you know, going to go anywhere with the language anymore. And some of the students that I have taught in the past, um, I know some of them still watch these videos. Yes, your teacher has also failed immensely um, in her eyes and has still gone gone through all of, I guess, all of the stages that you need to go through. It's not only making embarrassing mistakes in when you're speaking, right? It has so much more to do as well if you do want to eventually study and, and grow abroad or live abroad in another country with that language language, then things like that are going to happen. It was a very humbling experience in and of itself. I really want to mention all of this because this channel is a lot about going not just through like the, the high points of, of language learning. Even with my best language, I have still made hiccups here and there, right? I've, I've still had my my fair share of failures that I'm not like proud to admit necessarily, but I think it's really important to mention them. So thank you for listening to me rant about this. And as always, we will see each other in a new video next week. Bye.